hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i'll be teaching you how to sew the celestial church of christ round neck brother white gamut in this tutorial i'll be using my son's measurement that is a 10 year old boy measurement but i will be explaining how to cut adults on too like i would explain adult measurements in case you want to cut it for adults so this is the fabric i'm working on this is the tip of the fabric i folded it in two I just want to display it again the way I folded it earlier. His chest measurement is 30 inches. So that is divided into four, give me seven and a half inches. So I'm adding one inch for the sewing allowance. That's what I'm folding right now. The seven and a half plus one inch gave me eight and a half. So that's what I'm folding right now. So meanwhile, I will do the measurement. I'll post the measurement how to measure a brother sutana. You know that male's sutana used to be very free not really free but at least free it's not fitted like female own so now i'm measuring the length his length is 46 and a half inches that is his normal length so that's what i'm measuring right now then i'll be adding sewing allowance to it the sewing allowance is three inches so that will be for the band that band that we used to tape at the down of the white garment and half inch for the upper one to hold it in for the sewing allowance so that would be two and a half for the down then one inch for the upper part but if it is for adults i might do it three and a half or four inches depending on how much the fabric is so this is the shoulder the shoulder is 12 inches but i made it divided into two gave me six inches so i added half inch for the sewing allowance so that's the six and a half that i measured now then the armhole is seven and a half inches you can get the armhole by dividing the chest over four it will give you the armhole so for adults you can use ten and a half or eleven inches depending on how fat the person is so this is the shoulder slope i came down by half inch but if it is for adults, you can come down by one inch. Then the neck measurement, that's the width of the neck. The wideness is um, two and a half inches. But if it is for adults, you can do three inches or three and a half, depending on how fat the person is. So I came down by two inches here. But if it is for adults, I normally do two and a half inches. Just two and a half inches because it is a round neck that's a turtle neck it must not be too free so i'm confirming the measurements here so just to get the perfect circle i had to use my french cuff and i'm using to slant the shoulder slope too So, like I said earlier, the wideness of the neck for an adult, it could be three or three and a half, but I would advise you use three, depending on how fat the person is. But if the person is very, very fat, you can use three and a half inches for the wideness. Why the length two and a half inches? So, this is the flap that will be at the side. I measured it from the tip to the down, which gave me 42 inches. Then I cut it out. this is the pocket side so i'm starting from the shoulder to where the pocket will be his half length is 13 inches but i came up by half inch which gave me 12 and half this is the back part that i'm folding so i'll place the front part which i just did on the back part so this back part i'll be explaining everything what i did to the front part the reason i came up by half inch on that half length i would explain it in this back part so this back part is going to be longer than the front one by two and a half inches but if it is for adults i would advise you come up by three and a half inches so i make it come up by three and a half inches if it is for adults but this is for a boy so i'll just measure the same thing the shoulder six and a half inches i'll measure the same thing on the back part too
so that's just what i need to do only the upper part will be longer or every other thing will be the same so i'll just trace it out and cut it out then i notch the pocket part too so now i'll be working on the neck of the back so the neck is the same two and a half inches for the wideness why I came down by one inch but if it is for adults you can come down by one and a half inches so normally brother Sutana used to have cutting at the back so this is the cutting I came down by six inches for the joining of the cutting at the back but if it is for adults you come down by seven and a half inches then I cut it out so I'll be tracing this part that I cut out now I'll do that along the way so this is the neck part I left half inch for the sewing allowance of the neck I want to cut out the collar now so that's the half inch then I'm measuring the remaining one which is three and a half times two so this is the back part for the neck too I'll leave half inch too for the sewing allowance then measure the remaining one that's three inches times two six so when I added everything together seven plus six gave me 13 inches so I'm making the wideness of the neck 13 inches that was what I measured from the beginning 13 inches for the round neck so you need to measure the person's round neck before you cut it out so in case it is like shorter or longer then I'll do the adjustments before I continue that was why I confirmed the measurements this is the flap so the wideness of the flap is six and a half for the down part but if it's for adults you can make it nine inches or eight and a half inches depending on how wide the person wants it so the length of the flap is 42 but i added one inch to it to make it 43. so this wideness i'll make it one inch for the beginning of the wideness one inch So this flap depends on the length of the adult flap. You know, this one is 42 inches right from the under armhole. That's the armhole to the down part. That was what I measured to get this 42 inches. So if it is for adults, whatever you measure, try and add one inch to it just for sewing allowance, just in case. But when you are sewing, if it is excess, you can cut it out. So this is what I have after cutting it out. It's going to come out like a cone shape. So I'll be making a copy of the back part. This is the upper part of the back that I just finished cutting. So I'll be cutting the sleeve next. This sleeve, I folded it into four like this. Then I measured the wideness. The wideness of this sleeve is 9 inches. But if it is for adults, you can make it 11 inches or 12. Depending on how fat. So this down part, that's the band of the sleeve. I folded in 3 inches. You can also use adult on as 3 inches or 3.5 four inches some people use four inches too it depends on how wide you want it but i prefer three inches even for adults so this is the sleeve length the sleeve length is 21 and a half inches when you are measuring the sleeve length make sure you measure it to the base knuckle that is where the white tape is in this picture that i displayed on the screen right now don't measure it to the wrist it has to be longer i'll also post the link to the measurements once i post it once I do the measurement, I'll post it. So this part, I came down by 3 inches so that I can curve the sleeve part. So I'm not getting that part, so I have to use my French curve. So in case you're in that situation, please use your French curve to get it. Then, if it is for adults, you come down by 4 inches. So 
so i started the curve from three inches i just want you to know where the curve started from so that's three inches then came down to that three inches then his round sleeve is 11 inches divided by two gave me five and a half then i add one inch sewing allowance so that's six inches so the round sleeve too that's the wrist round wrist it is also very wide it must not be fitted as i promised once i do the measurements i'll post the link in the comment section or the description link please try to check it out so the sleeve part is going to be curved not straight so that's why i used my french curve then i cut it out this part i'll measure the round ammo yeah so that's nine and a half all these ammo shouldn't be more than eight or eight and a half inches so is excess which is nine and a half inches then it's fine and i'm good to go but if it is for adults it has to be like 12 inches or 12 and a half like it has to be excess so after cutting it out this is what i have now i'll be cutting out the neck part that's the collar so i made the wideness eight inches for the neck part that's for the width the wideness then this part i came down by two and a half inches so the neck part is not going to be straight it's going to be curved then i would use my french curve to curve it to that part just watch what i'm doing so i just want to get a curved shape if you check the measurements from the beginning you see that i measured the round neck as 13 slash 12 and a half inches so the down part is thicker than the upper part of our neck and i want it to slip on the neck i don't want it to be folding so i made the wideness of the neck two and a half inches if it is for adults you can make it three inches wide so now i want to measure the down part the down part is 13 inches divided by two give me six and a half so that's the six and a half that i measured now then I'll add one inch as the sewing allowance. You know that the down part is wider. So that's the down part. Then the upper part is 6.2. That's 12 and a half. Then I added one inch to it too. Then I just traced it to it. So that's how I get my curved collar. Because I don't want it to be opening. You know if you make it straight it will be opening at the upper part so if you want it to like lay you have to cut it like this and the cloth has shifted so i had to put it in place then pinned it down this is the part where you need to like this video if you enjoyed watching it so i'm cutting out double i'll use the other one to line it please subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that already and encourage other people to, to subscribe so after cutting it out this is what it will look like this is what you are going to have after cutting it out then i'll add my interfacing and do the sewing so i did the continuation of the explanation in the sewing so there are some explanations a lot of explanation that i made in the sewing so just continue watching the sewing part So this is the back of the material so this back is the back part why this is the front of the material so this is the half part this is the back why this is the front i used chalk earlier but the chalk seems to be showing on both sides so i had to use this pencil so i had to use pencil <coughs> So now this is the front and this is the back so i'll be placing it like this on it so i'll be placing this front to face this front so that means both front that means back and back that means both front will be facing this cloth so this one will be at the middle 
this is going to be at the middle right this is going to be at the back part and this is going to be at the front part So after sewing, this is what I'll have. So this is the front part of the back. Where well, this is the back part of the back. So as we all know, the button on brother is normally on this left side, on the left side of the hand. So this is the right side. Because when the person wears it, it's going to be like this on the person's back. This is the front part that I'm showing you now. So this part is going to be the button part, while this is going to be the one that does not have button. So this part that does not have button, I'll be joining it to the front part now. Then I'll leave this other part. So I'll make sure the two fronts are facing each other. So this is the front and this is the front. Then I'll sew it. I'll sew this place now. I hope you are seeing that. Like I dropped one of it. This is the back. This is the front. So I placed this on this. I picked only one. Then I'll use the second one to like hook it in. I don't know if I should explain that part again. Okay, so if you already understand this part, you can forward it. This is the front, this is the front. So I placed it on it like this. So I picked one of the back, then dropped the other back, and I used this. So I'll fold it in a way that the face will be facing the face. Is the face that will be facing the clothes. Why right, this is the back? This is the face, the outer part. So after sewing it, this is what I'll have. Then I'll go ahead and sew this place. So after saying this is what I have, this is what I have. Okay, so let me quickly explain that part that this pocket part. You see that this back part is longer. This back part is longer than the front part. So this part is going to look like folded on the person's body. It's going to look like this. It's not going to rhyme. On the shoulder so it's going to be folded like this on the person's body so this is how it's going to look like so you know that once this part is folded it will come down so this part is going to give us the 13 inches then this 13 should be right on this uh what is it called notched part so this 13 inches will be here Instead of the 12 and a half, it will not be the exact 13 inches that I want earlier, that I measured on my oil. So that is what it's going to be. So you have to minus that half so that it won't go too down by the time you finish sewing it. So you have to minus it by half inches so that it goes up. I hope you understand that part. Okay, so what I'll be doing next is fixing my zip. Uh... I'll go ahead and hang on this place so that it will be flat. I don't want it bogging up like this. So we can use zip, we can also use button. We can also use button. But I'll be back. 
So I'm back. I've done the ironing. I've ironed this part too. So I've ironed this part too so that it will be flat. I don't, I don't like the way it was bulging. Then I ironed, ironed it in a way that this upper part is folded, like the down part is folded in. So it's not showing like it's joined. So don't let the joint parts be showing outside. So this other part, that's this part. So normally I would weave it. That's what I normally do. But because of this tutorial, in case of people that don't have weaving machine, so just place a small piece of glue. So this is one and a half inches. Sorry about this. I just needed to fold it very neatly. Then I'll sew it down. So after sewing that, I can now go ahead and fix the zip or button. So in case you are fixing button, there is normally five on Brother Sutana two on the collar then the remaining three on the shoulder so if you are fixing the button make sure they are not on the same um, measurement like if you are putting one and a half inches make sure the difference is one and a half inches to just fix it in here but i'll be using zip for this tutorial so this part that has the iron part so i've gotten it away that's why i shifted it up so that when I'm doing the button hook, it will not break the needle. So this is what I have after sewing it. This is what it's going to look like. Then I would go ahead and sew this place down. So I've sewed that part down. And now go ahead and fix our color. So this color part, I've already added the paper stay, that's the add stay to it. Is it? I've added the add stay to it. I made it um, like half inch shorter. So I added to only one. This is the second one. So I'll just go ahead and sew half inch in round. Okay, so I want everything to come to this side. I want this part to be the front part. That's the one that has the color. I want to be the front part. But you can be it anyhow. You can let the other parts be the front part. But I want this color part to be showing outside. I want it like this. So I'll go ahead and top stitch. Like I'll take all the sewing in. And then top stitch on it.
you know, iron it stuff. So after ironing it, you can see that it's already in place, it's not, this part is not coming out again. Like, so this is how it's going to look like. And I'll fix it on the body. Okay, so I want you to pay attention to this part very well. This is the neck part and the neck part in brother is the difficult part. Once you overcome that neck part, that's it. You are good to go. Okay, so what I'll do next, this is the back part. This is the main cloth. So I want you to understand this part very well. This is the upper part, right? This is the inner part. So this inner part, I'll be taking it in like this. So this color. I'll be using this inside part. This is the inside part that I throw stitch that does not have the stick. So this is the one I'll be placing on this part. So I'll place it like this. I hope you get that part. Like this is the inside part. This is the one that does not have the color. So I'll just go ahead and place it on it. So I'll come out by half an inch. Like this color will be coming out half an inch more than this part more than the fabric that's the main clothes So if I go ahead and notch it, I want to see if it is not longer than each other because it tends to do that. I've made a mistake in the past that after sewing it, I now realize that this one is like going up while right? this one is down. So it looks okay. It's the same. <clears throat> so just make sure this part is the same before you go ahead and sew it. Because at times this one might be like this. It might end up being like this. So just make sure you set it first and make sure it's on the same level before you go ahead and finish the sewing. So that you don't end up losing, losing, losing. So this part that I just finished sewing, I'm going to notch it. So after I'm done notching it, I have to cut this one out. Okay, I'll quickly go and add any gum to this part because it seems not. I don't think there is gum on this part, so I'm going to add any gum to this place so that it will gum on the float. I'll be back. So, this is the any gum. So, I'll just place it on the side, on the side, then place my the cloth on it and then place my iron on it. So, I'll just go ahead and place my iron on this place. So after I was done placing the yarn you can see that it's no more like is I'm forcing it right now. So it's already stuck in place. Then what I'll do next is fold it in and sew it round.
Just make sure as you are sewing it, you are using your second hand to place it very well so that it doesn't shift. So don't forget that I have half inch left here. Like this color will be half inch longer than this part. So after sewing it, this is what I have. Like, this is the finished look. This is what it's going to look like after sewing it. So this one is going to be under this half inch that I left is going to be under. That's where the button is going to be. Then the button O is going to be on this upper part. The button is going to be where the button is going to be down here. So in case you don't you did not use zip, the buttons will be here where the button O will be up higher. So you just fix it. And that's it. So it must not be longer than each other here. It has to be on the same line. This is what it's going to look like. And this is what the front is going to look like. And that's it for the neck part. So it's going to be on top of it like this. So that's it for the next part. Then I'll go ahead and join this flap part. So this flap at the front of this flap will be facing the front of the material. I'll leave <clears throat> so I'll leave six and a half inches for but if it's for adults you can use seven inches so this one to the face is going to be facing the face of the flap so the other side the flap was off while the main material that's the body was down but this time around the body is up while the flap is down so i'll just measure six and a half inches Okay, so this is the pocket. This is the pocket part. I realized I didn't show the cutting of the pocket. So the length is 14 inches. But if it's far that I normally make it 15 inches. Because I love when the pocket is long and, you know, deep. Very deep. Okay, so the wideness is 8 inches. But if it is far that I normally make it 9 inches. I normally make it 9 inches, but... For my boy, I'm making it 8 inches. So I'll go ahead and sew it in by half inch. So after sewing it by half an inch, so 
So from this part, I'll measure six and a half inches. So I'll fix it. So this is the back part. I'll just put it in. Where I fix my pockets, I don't I won't show you. This is where the normal line is. I don't know if you can see this very well. Let me zoom it. Okay. So this is the normal line, but I'll come in by 0.2. I'll come in by quarter an inch. So this is where my own sewing is going to start from. So just make sure this joint part is on this part. So I'll be sewing, starting my sewing from this one, not this one. I'll be going in by quarter an inch. So I turn the pocket upside down, but it's still the same pocket. So I'll go ahead and sew it again in by quarter an inch. So I won't be starting the sewing from here. I won't be starting the sewing from here. I'll go in quarter an inch. I'll be starting the sewing from here. So down. Okay, so I'm done with the fixing of the pockets. Okay. It won't be obvious that there is pockets there. So after I'm done with the hem, it's going to look like this. That's why I had to put that point too. If I did not do it that way, it, the pocket is going to be bulging out. So once you tuck it in like that, you're going to have something for
So I'll go ahead and fix the button. <laughs> 